Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I will be showing you how to create a spiral staircase in Revit. I will be doing two stairs. First one will be basically a residential wood staircase that uses the center column as the main support. And the other one will be something more of a public staircase which will be out of concrete and the actual support will be the outside concrete railing. Before I get started, I would ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like these every day. So let's get started. I'm going to be using the architectural template, and the first thing I like to do is I like to set the units, and in this case I will be using centimeters. So I'm just going to go OK, OK. And now let's start doing the stairs. So we're going to be using the standard stair command, and here first for the first one for the residential wood stair I'm going to be using this assembled stair 190 millimeter max riser and 250 millimeter going and I'm going to be using just this full step spiral and just go anywhere and start creating your circle now you can't really do it just without any circle in the middle you need to pull out a bit so you have some center circle like this one here. So there you go. Now we basically have our stair in place. So if I go into 3D, it looks like something like that. And if I go finish, it will add the railing. Now first thing, we can delete this middle part of the railing. We don't really need that. And for this outside railing, I prefer using this pipe railing. And let's go maybe into realistic. Yeah, it looks a bit better. And let's use a shaded view. Okay, so once this is completed, we can select the staircase and now we can do some changes. For example, these supports over here, we don't really need them because we're going to have a column running in the middle and that will be the main and only support of this stair. So I'm just going to go here into edit type and here you have the supports and you have the right support and the left support and in this case for both of them just open up this drop menu and select none same thing here none and go apply ok so now we basically eliminated all the supports now for the next thing we need to do we need to eliminate this here riser basically we don't really need that usually these kinds of stairs are kinda transparent and so I'm just going to select the stair again, go into edit type and here we have this basically run type and you can open it up. So you just press this here a little button in the corner, open it up and here you have treads and risers and for the risers I'm just going to uncheck them and for the treads I'm going to change the material because we want this to be a wooden stair, just hit again this little button in the corner you open up the material browser and now you can select wood so I'm going to find this maybe wood material load it in go apply OK again here apply OK apply OK so this is what we have so we have kinda of this, this stair that's currently it looks like it's floating in the air but don't worry we need to add the middle support or basically the middle column and to do so, we're going to go to Structure, Column, Vertical Column, and let's load the family, because here all, all we have is this steel column, and uh, that's just not something we needed at this point. So just go Load Family, I'm going to step back one folder to go to use the metric library, and I'm going to find Structural Columns, open it up, and here we have maybe Wood Columns, but to do we have a Round Wood Column and from what I see we don't really have a round column so I'm just going to go here to concrete and find this concrete round column and go open up and now I can go into perhaps I don't know level 1 go use our column or you can use the shortcut CL for column and as you can see it's kinda too big for this right now so we can go into edit type and change this to maybe 25 go apply OK yeah that fits a lot better and here for the height you need to change this from depth to height 
and from unconnected to level 2. So I'm just going to place it in the middle like so. And then I'm just going to go back into the 3D view and we have something that looks like this. Now we need to select this column and we need to drop it down by, I don't know, like 20 centimeters. So just for the top, top offset I'm going to type in minus 20. Yeah, let's try minus 17. Yeah, that looks okay. And let's just change the material to something that fits this staircase. And I thought maybe a chrome material would be nice. Just the combination of wood and chrome. So I'm going to go here to structural material, open this up, and let's f try to find something chrome. So let's try this steel chrome plated, go OK. And usually chrome appears black like this, but when you render it's all shiny. And now let's do the railing. So if we have this chrome column in the middle, let's do the railing from Chrome as well. So just go here into Edit Type and let's just find Railing, Edit Type, no not this one, go back the first one, okay and here we have this material for all four rails. You can see here we have one, two, three, four and this is just the top rail that's something different. And here let's just change this to Chrome as well, so okay Again, Chrome is selected, OK, and the same thing for these two. OK, so once this is Chrome, just go Apply, OK, and here again, Apply, OK. And let's just select this top rail. So just go over the railing, hit the tab, and now you can select this top rail. You go into Edit Type, and here you can find the material, go Edit, and let's use the wood material this and let's use this wood the same one that's on the stairs go apply ok and there you go now if we go into something like ray trace we can see what we have actually created ok that looks quite nice it's all shiny so let's close out of that and let's now create our concrete staircase I'm going to go back to level 1 and here I'm just going to go to stair again and here in the properties panel I'm going to open up this drop menu and choose monolithic stair and again I'm going to use this full step stair and the actual run width I'm going to leave it 1 meter or 100 centimeters and again let's create something like this go OK go into 3D yeah that looks about right going to finish and there you go now again we need to eliminate this railing in the middle and this outside railing because we don't need that either so I'm just going to select it both and delete and I'm going to select this staircase and go into edit type now let's go to the supports find this right support because the right support is in our case here's the right support that's the outside support so let's go just right support and here from none let's go into stringer open and for this open up again you select this you have this little square in the corner open it up and now you can change these dimensions over here so just for the width I'm going to make it a bit thicker I'm going to go with 10 centimeters and for total depth that will be the height of the railing I'm going to go with 120. So even though this is just the support, if we make it large enough, it will appear as if it's the actual the actual railing. So go to OK, apply, OK, and you get something like this. Now you just need to set the material. So let's again select the stairs, go here into run type and open this up so you can see the material. So it's concrete cast in suit. So I'm just going to type in OK. And again, I'm going to open up this here and change the material of our right support, right sting, st stringer, or basically our railing. So I'm going to go open up this material and find concrete cast in suit. So here we have it. OK. OK. Apply. OK. Apply. OK. And now it's from the same material. And again, if we go into ray trace, it will appear as if it's rendered and it's all made out of concrete. 
Ok, that's pretty much it for this tutorial on spiral stairs in Revit. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.